I'm Guy Malchi from Eden Shield, and I want to thank uh, Trendlines for giving us the opportunity to present uh, Eden Shield's unique crop protection technology. In this short presentation, I will show you that we at Eden Shield bring something new to crop protection, which reduces insect damage to crops. We adopt unique characteristics of semi-desert plants and use order masking to reduce insect damage. We just completed our financing round and finished successfully our incubation period with Trendlines Actec and we're ready to start selling our first products. Did you know that insects are the most diverse form of life on our planet? They cause around 20% of destruction of the total world crop production. Epigenetic changes enable the insects to develop resistance to many solutions and in parallel, there are growing regulatory hurdles which limit the use of toxic chemicals. Eden Shield, we believe, is feeling it. It's because we harness the wonders of nature into our technology, focusing on desert plants. In his work on such botanical extract, our founder, sitting in the back, Yaniv Kitron, discovered that some Israeli desert plants contain compounds that naturally deter thrips, and this initiated the development of Eden Shield's technology. From this discovery, we are introducing a novel approach to crop protection. Our products have an odor signal which disguises the crop's odor to reduce insect attraction. Eden Shield's natural, non-toxic products offer major benefits which address the limitations of the current insect control solutions. The adoption of novel solutions into the crop protection industry is accelerating rapidly. We can see it also with the increase in M&A activity in this space. The greenhouse crop protection market is $2 billion and has the fastest growth rate in agriculture. Our odor masking approach is being introduced with a portfolio of products. We are first establishing commercial presence in high value segments in which the regulatory path is simpler for our products. We are beginning to sell our net product for greenhouse vegetables and our direct product for greenhouse ornamentals and cannabis. Following our financing round, our, our main focus obviously is on commercializing our first products. We significantly expanded, with the help of Trendlines actually, our plant raw material plantation to support a potential of $2 million uh, sales of our products. Following great interest we experienced when exhibiting at the Biocontrol Conference in Basel, in several locations, as you can see, customers are using our products for demos and we anticipate sales being generated from these demos in a few weeks. The regulatory landscape varies between countries and we are using expert consultants and commercial partners to, simp to find the simplest regulatory out route in each location in for each crop and each application. Zooming our initial market segment where we apply our net product on greenhouse screens, ventilation openings and doors. Our demos are showing that the net product is effective and reduces insect attraction by over 90%. Since we do not spray on the protected crop, the regulatory process for this product is quite simple. We can already sell it in Israel and expect additional sales from more countries starting this spring. When we learned that uh, spider mite, thrips and whiteflies insects we have shown to be reduced by Eden Shield products are very common attackers of the cannabis crop, we realized that the medical and legal cannabis is a smoking hot opportunity for us. Due to the lack of product registration and the tight quality standards in this industry, there is a great fit for a natural non-toxic product like the Eden Shield Direct product. We are already working with three out of the eight licensed medical marijuana growers in Israel and in advanced conversations with the partners in the US and Canada. Another high value segment where Eden Shield is establishing commercial activity is roses and other ornamentals. Again, following great demo results, we are already selling our direct product in Israel and started a demo with partners in Kenya and Italy. We raised over $1 million led by our crowd and with follow-on participation by Trendlines. We are now starting to sell our first products for greenhouse vegetables and the high value cannabis and ornamental markets our main effort is to work with commercial and strategic partners to establish sales in our target segments wherever possible. Thank you. So basically you do not have any issue with the natural enemies? They are not repelled by the, uh, by the material? With the natural enemies we've tested thus far, we did not see any problem. So it's a, they have a different mechanism with the odor than the trips and the Benizia and all the other uh, uh, vectors of the diseases? Yeah, I mean, we, we don't know exactly why, honestly, but that's, that's the, these are facts. So, so you're, in IPM point of view, you're not uh, replacing, you are co completing 
the protection with the natural insects? Well, that's a great question. I mean, we, we, we don't think there is a silver bullet that, that solves the entire crop protection issue. We think that there is a huge uh, synergy with, uh, with natural enemies and other bi biopesticides that will contribute to the efficacy of the IPM whilst reducing the use of toxic chemicals.